Attorney Paul Taylor has represented truck drivers for more than 25 years, and during that time he's received no shortage of questions around the thorny issue of what exactly constitutes appropriate personal conveyance use, an off-duty status on a driver's log. Taylor, managing partner of his Minnesota-based Truckers Justice Center, said that a log line of sorts designated as personal conveyance is a relatively new phenomenon given the ELD mandate in 2017 required a personal conveyance mode of every device. At once, though, the permissible recording of personal use of a truck as off-duty time has been around since Taylor dispatched trucks while he was in law school some decades ago, and well before that, too. Generally speaking, personal conveyance, or PC, was an off-duty status. You can use a truck off-duty to drive your family to church, run to the grocery store, or take a fishing trip so long as you are not doing so at the direction of your employer or leasing partner. Determining compliance can be a little more fuzzy than all of that, though, especially when driving to and from shippers or receivers or the carrier's terminal. In this video, part of our trucking law series, we'll answer some common questions attorney Paul Taylor gets. As noted, at its most basic, PC is the personal use of a truck while off-duty. For logging purposes, you remain on the off-duty line in your logbook or in your ELD. You're off-duty, furthermore, only if you are not responsible for performing work for the motor carrier or for your own business and freight partners if you're an owner-operator with motor carrier authority. You can drive as many miles or hours as you want as personal conveyance, provided you're really off-duty, and it matters not if your trailer is attached and loaded or not. FMCSA has recently clarified. If a carrier is asking you to record time spent transporting a load from Bangor, Maine to Long Beach, California, personal conveyance though, you would be falsifying your log if you accede to their demands. Transporting a load at the direction of a carrier obviously is driving time, as defined by the hours of service regulations. Generally, time spent driving back to the terminal after delivery fulfills a business purpose, not a personal use. An exception to this rule came into play with new federal guidance as the ELD mandate came into play. That new guidance allowed the use of personal conveyance to move from a shipper or receiver where a driver had run out of hours to the closest safe parking place. In the prior example, if the carrier terminal is the closest place to find safe parking, it may constitute an allowed use of personal conveyance. If you're traveling in the direction of a load, again, this is for a business purpose and can't be logged off-duty as personal conveyance. The answer to this question is yes, simply put. In circumstances where you are headed home or somewhere else without a dispatch or without intent to stage for another load or other business purpose, you're off-duty. The coercing party is violating the coercion rule, 49 Code of Federal Regulations, Section 390.6, and could be subject to five to seven years in prison for the felony of intentional falsification of a log. Likewise, if you falsify your log in this way, you face a possible felony charge yourself for not resisting the coercion. The better course is to blow the whistle to law enforcement about the carrier. In 2019, Overdrive published an in-depth look at the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration's anti-coercion regulations first several years in existence. That report included a detailed guide to reporting suspected coercion violations to law enforcement, and plenty of first-hand insight on how those cases play out. Find it via the link shown, or search Cracks in the System at overdriveonline.com. The Surface Transportation Assistance Act prohibits retaliation against the driver for recording on-duty time in a logbook or in an ELD accurately. If you are terminated or fired for refusing to falsify your log, the STAA provides monetary and non-monetary remedies for drivers against whom carriers have retaliated. Motor carriers may, but are not required to authorized drivers to use a truck while off-duty for personal conveyance. Some carriers may adopt a company policy with a mileage or time limitation for PC use, though such limits are not required. 
FMCSA nonetheless recommends that carriers have a policy in place on what they allow regarding personal conveyance. If you have further questions or feel your employer hasn't respected the rules with regard to PC, you can contact attorney Paul Taylor at 855-943-3518 or at his truckersjusticecenter.com website. Find more on this subject by searching personal conveyance at overdriveonline.com.